Ryan Barucki getting ready for his eighth start this season, his second against the Red Sox. Change up, he walked him. One and two. Base hit to right. Betts is in the score. Here comes Benintendi right behind him, and Bogarts will go to third. Eduardo Nunez, an opposite field RBI single. He drives in two. Porcello, the league hasn't had a lot of success against him this season. He leads the Red Sox in wins with 14. Ball four. Porcello says, where was that one? Base hit to right field. Granderson had to hold up to make sure it wasn't caught, but he's going to come around to score. Smoke's got a cousin in Rick Porcello. Another RBI against Porcello. Ground ball up the middle. Bogarts will go to second for one back to first, and Pierce can't handle it. Devin Travis comes in to tie the ball game. Fastball for strike three. So Porcello strikes out Hernandez to end the inning. 2-2 to Mets. Fly ball deep to center field. Pilar is on the run at the track, at the wall. It's off his glove. Bounces back toward the infield, and Betts is headed for third. Luki Betts with another triple. That'll be his fifth triple of the season, his third against Ryan Barucki. Ground ball. Third baseman Nunez boots it. All hands are safe. For Nunez, that's his sixth error of the season. Moke strikes out. Porcello stepped it up, gets a big out, but the Blue Jays take the lead. Ground ball. This could be two. Diaz to Travis for one, back to second. That's the first double play. Boy, Diaz did a good job of breaking on that ball quickly, recognizing it wasn't hit that hard. Strike three call. Baraki pitches at it again. Fly ball deep to right center. Jackie Bradley looking up. This ball's got a chance. It's gone. Play Oscar Hernandez goes opposite field. A deep home run to right center. And the Blue Jays have extended their lead. It's now 4-2 for Hernandez home run number 18. It's a high cutter, and that'll end the inning. Bradley goes after a ball. That ball ran inside and really tied him up. Breaking ball hit hard down the left side. That's going to get down off the wall. Hernandez throw to second base. Mookie Betts is three for three. Players over the last couple of years. So... Cutter on the outside corner. Borderline strike. Swing and a drive, and this one's going to go. J.D. Martinez, yet another home run. Well, when he goes back to his room tonight and takes a look at the swing that he just produced right there, he's going to like what he sees. Home run number 35, RBI number 99. And that was a laser to left field. That's a terrible feeling when you're on the field. There goes Nunez. The throw from Martin is a good one. Diaz slapped the tag on him and immediately turned to the dugout to ask that they review the play. Walking lead. They don't make him stop. Goes on the first move. Breaking ball. Martin makes a good throw. There's the swipe tag right here. But Nunez shows him his left hand and then pulls it back and back and gets the right hand on. Ground ball off the glove of Travis. Nunez is going to come around to score. And the Red Sox have tied it up. Travis tried to keep that ball on the infield. Smoke drives it deep to left field. Get up, ball. Get up. That ball is off the wall. Travis is headed toward third. He's getting the wave home. Here's Bogart's throw to the plate. It is not in time. Justin Smoke continues to hit well against Rick Porcello.
his second RBI of the night, his 31st double of the season. Gritchick drills it. Get out of here, ball. This one is gone. <laughs> some sound doesn't he when he connects he hit a ball here the other night off the facing of the fourth deck he's not running here ground ball smoke has it and that'll end the inning Travis lines it to left that's going to get down for a base hit Granderson's being waved home the throw is offline he scores throw to second not in time Devin Travis drives in Curtis Granderson with a line drive base hit to left. They want to take a look at it. Does he stay on the bag? And he might be out. On Travis. And they're going to call him out. Getting everybody incorporated into it. Good pitch. <laughs> Randall Gritchick, he had a laser beam home run. His last time up, ground ball to short. Bogarts from his knees, pulled back to first. Pretty double play. And now he's going to go for the hat trick. A fly out to right. Chapera needs just seven pitches to retire the side in order. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth. Breaking ball for called strike three. Nornberg retires Hernandez to start the bottom of the eighth. There's another good curveball. Back to back strikeouts for Thornburg. There goes Pilar. Granderson swings and misses. Thornburg eventually strikes out three in the inning, gives up a couple of hits. And a four run cushion. Breaking ball high and deep, and he is hit for the cycle. A hanging slider. Mookie Betts finishes the cycle. He reaches base all five times he's come to the plate. What an at bat by Mookie Betts. Three and one, he got a fastball and he had a home run cut. Had a great swing on that one. Five three call. So that'll wrap it up. Moreland, the pinch hitter, called out on strikes. Giles strikes out two. And the Blue Jays win it eight to five. Brian Barucki will get credited with the win. He didn't have his best stuff, but I'm telling you, he battled. He battled the best hitting team in the American League. Gave, gave him five innings tonight. Gave up four earned runs. The offense exploded tonight.